What is up guys? Welcome back to a, another video. Today we're back here at Destination Dallas. We're gonna get a huge chest pump in and then right after that we're gonna go hit some bombs at Top Golf. Garrett, do you have anything you'd like to say before we go get this pump in? Chest is my favorite muscle to work out. That's all I'm gonna say. Let's yeah. go. All right, we'll see y'all in there. Guys, Garrett's been plateaued. You'd say you've been plateaued a little bit on bench, right? A long time. I think the main reason you're not able to like hit that 175 is just because you're not used to having that much weight in your hand. So what we're gonna do, put 165 on the bar, which is your max. And we're gonna put this block down so you don't have to go all the way down. Touch the block, come up. And so you can get used to a heavy weight. Is that the biggest piece of wood you've ever had on your chest? Uh, yeah. <laughs> what did he say? Hey. Oh. This feels weird. Here, here, here. You want to hold it? Yeah. Bobby? See, we really need Hudson. You hold the block of wood. Hudson's here. Hey. Hey, uh, I made it. No, man. How's it going, guys? What'd you have? A five course meal yeah, in the car? Yeah, I, I had to finish my steak, my fries, my asparagus. I kid you not, buddy's been out there for 30 minutes eating. Yeah, well, I was on the phone. Business meeting. Oh, oh. Come on, Come on. get it up. Come on, Garrett. Nice. Breathe, breathe. That felt that felt so weird. I was trying to go all the way down mentally, and then I hit it, and I'm like, wait, what? I gotta go up. <laughs> We're gonna be hitting 315 by the end of the year, easy. How many do I have? 16. 16? Yeah. Whew, that's tough. What do you think you got? I don't know. We'll see. 16. Come on. 20. Who is that? 18 and a half? 19? It will count as 19. You gonna do 165 again on that block? Get used to it? Sure. We'll go for a set of 8 to 10. Tell you what, pre-workouts got me sweating. Which, one, which one do you want to do? This one? I like this grip better. Yeah. I like doing one arm, then you can kind of angle yourself to get even more range of motion. Back. Feels nice. You know, hop in this. Oh yeah. You can, you, can your feet? Can your feet reach? All right, we got four plates on the bar. What are you thinking? The whole rack. Huh? The whole rack. No chance. 200. That's almost the whole rack. That's heavyweight. It's pulling me up. Yeah, I can literally see. Is that 10 or 11? 10. All right, listen, it's your turn. I want to. I, oh. I, I'm already done. He's lying. Garrett Clark, we need to see something out of you. No, I already did.
guys. That is a wrap on this gym session. That was really good. Maybe it was a pre-workout because I took a full scoop today and I just I started sweating. I don't know if y'all can see. I'm sweating profusely. I got a really nice pump in. Garrett put in some good. He's, He's already ready. He's going to go get a full way. But yeah, it was a good workout. We will see y'all at Top Golf. Peace. Alright guys, we made it to Top Golf. Looks like we're about the only people here with my good buddy Cole Yates, also known as the Yeater, also known as the Skeeter. What's going on? This is my blood brother. He's part of the Wolf Pack. And today, I think I might give him a little lesson. Just as Steve, in my last video, gave me a little lesson. I hate to ruin it, but I have never played golf, so this should be interesting. Wait, sorry, I wasn't watching. Do one more. So you go back pretty nice, but you kind of stay back on it. So you're kind of coming in up on it and hitting the top of the ball. Proper weight transfer. It's about 60% on your left side, 40 on your right, whenever you're set up. Whenever you go back, a lot of that weight will go to your back foot. I'd say probably 80%. But whenever you're coming back down, you're literally almost getting 100% to your left side. What I've gathered initially is I want to focus on getting the control and the contact of the ball. I'm actually uh, been trying to kill it for all my life and it's uh, the outcome has not been too good. So we're going to take it, square one right here, and give it my best go. Oh, there you go. I'm just trying to get him kind of feeling how like weight should be transferred throughout the swing. So we're not really too concerned about where the ball is going. He just needs to have that feeling. So whenever we put the ball back in the center of the stand, he will kind of understand what's going on. There you go. You're kind of still swinging it up on a little bit. You still want to get down into it, especially with iron. It's called trapping the ball. So like you're getting down into it with some forward shaft lean yep. and hitting the ball down into the ground. Yeah. So then that ball can spin up the face and like be compressed. People don't understand that, but that's actually how you get elevated. It's kind of like kicking a football. By the way, Cole was a Division One athlete. He was on that Abilene Christian University football team. Yep. What were you, the kicker? I was the place kicker and the punter, but I only stayed there for about a year and now I'm a student in Arkansas. Same, same thing for me. There you go. That was, that was good contact. It's getting better. better, getting better. Oh, that was oh my gosh. Did you see how you compressed that down into the ground and it actually got up in the air? Yeah. That's what you want to feel. Oh, oh go. my god. <laughs> All right. What's the analysis? That was a bomb. Like He's I learning quick. It, it, You're an athlete. Athletes you gotta are adapt. You gotta be a have adaptability in this uh, in this environment right here. <laughs> I think it's time to hit some balls over the net. What do you think? Yeet? I've only seen a few people do that, and that is Kyle Berkshire and Hogan Moulton. So uh, it's a pretty special thing to see. Gary, where you at? Oh. Someone call the piper because that one was piped. 174, but way over the net. That's what you call a misread on ball speed because I hit that one so good. Out of here. All right, guys, that is a wrap on the video. I hope y'all really enjoyed this video. How'd you like the lesson? Do you think you learned a lot? You know, I really think I improved. Towards the end, I was really starting to hit it straight, and uh, I really like where I'm at right now. I'm gonna continue to come out here with Hogan and uh, see where I can be here shortly. I love it. I love it. Maybe uh, we'll get you on the bag one day and see how that goes. I love it. Make sure to leave a like on this video if you like this sort of content. Comment down below some stuff y'all might want to see in the future, and most importantly, make sure to subscribe because we're on the mission to getting to 10k subscribers smash it see you guys oh, no.